Good evening. Good night. Once again here on the knockout. To knock out some of your reality. I hear on a boat out there is a vast, vast ocean. <clears throat> One of the realities I want to touch on in this little video here is the reality about the dollar, the money systems of the world. When we talk about money, different currencies, we talk about paper, but what is it really? It's the vastness of this ocean, you know. Money equivalates into raw materials, timber, all the different things they extract from the ocean. But the value of the money is set by those that hold on to the power. Money is nothing but trust. You're trusting some bank or some country that what you work for has value and the equivalent of a paper. What many people live here off of, and you've seen in some of our episodes of fishing away your life, is the rawness of that survival tactic. They actually fish the fish and sell it for money. And that fish is turned into money. And with that money, they can buy other things. When we look at the monetary systems today and the powers that be that control many of the governments and many of those puppet presidents you see are nothing but pawns in a bigger game of monetary supremacy. There's an imbalance, you know, especially in a country like this where the value of the money in this country is lesser than another country. When even a country like this has more natural resources than other countries. Many of the wars we see today are wars that are fought over the natural resources of certain regions and territories. So that as a nation or a people, if you're able to wield the power over that area, your value of money goes up and the other value goes down. But well, one day this could all change, you know. The day the dollar dies. Many people have actually tried to kill the dollar and end up losing their own life. Now you could call me wacky or crazy, but I'm gonna just put it out there that even Libya and Gaddafi wanted to destroy the dollar create their own currency based on the resources of Africa and we know Africa is a continent that has the most natural resources in the world but yet is one of the poorest as part of their Khan plan you know and I say a Khan plan because they fool the world up into thinking that Africa has all these problems when a lot of these problems are created by some of the banking systems leaders in the world you know I used to not really believe in all of those conspiracy theories that bankers rule the world. But when I really check up on it, they don't rule the world. They're trying to destroy this world. They're trying to extract every natural resource out of this world to continue to keep the value of their currency high. It's my belief that the survival of mankind will be in a future society where these bankers and these people that put value onto fake paper no longer are able to do so if our money monetary system and banking systems are based on trust and trust alone why we couldn't have a system of pure trust there's many systems in place that maybe will take away the money system. But there's many people in that money system that don't want to give up the power that they have.
they would like to see a time when this entire ocean is dried out of all of its natural resources and they have to fly in spaceships to another solar system or another planet or a comet to extract natural resources to continue to make the value of their monetary system high. Many people have said money is the root of all evil. And the more I look at it, money is definitely an evil power in your life. And if you let money have influence over your life, the physical paper, the physical job, or physical attraction to certain wealth, it could uh, bring a lot of evil into your life, you know. It's bringing a lot of evil into our world, these type of concepts. You know, at first they used to have banking systems based on raw material and gold and silver. And you got a lot of people now today that buy gold and silver in the hopes that if there was a monetary crash, they would have some type of valuable raw material in their hand to be able to barter with. That goes on a lot in poor countries. People buy gold chains, they buy silver chains, and when times get hard, they pawn it off just to buy a little food, pawn it off for money. And that part is something that is just the survival of us humans. But the deeper thought is when people's countries, people's societies are destroyed to continue to support a false monetary system, to prop up a false value. A lot of these bankers don't know what it is to get a shovel and dig ditches all day just to find a little substance called coltane. Coltane is actually a substance extracted in Africa and other parts of the world that you find in many cell phones and electronic devices. A raw material that they put value on. You see, one day the dollar will die their monetary system will fall. Their banking systems will become obsolete. They will no longer have power over our lives. Many of us, we fight for the, this natural resource that we have in front of we, this beautiful sea and ocean. Maybe we do it to protect the natural life of it, you know, because you love nature, you love those things. But some people also do it to not allow them the speed to destroy our world that they wish they could do is suck all the raw materials out of our world and turn it into money. Because to them, they live 80, 60, 70 years and they die. And during that time, maybe they were born billionaires and they want to maintain their status their family status at the cost of much blood and suffering to the poor people of the world who really are not poor who actually have all the raw materials right around them but because of the system are faced to sell out to sell out their raw materials for little to nothing I just thought I would share my concept of money in this evening's video and remind you that there's a big ocean out there and it's full of life, not money, you know. It's probably already too dark, you're probably not even seeing me. Till next time, knockout news, done again. <laughs>